This week we're staying at the Spring Villa Park in Opelika, Alabama, and it's perfect timing for Halloween because they say that this park is one of the most haunted locations in all of Alabama. So we're gonna show you around the campground and we're even gonna take you inside of a real life haunted house. <laughs> Well, behind me is the William Penn Young House, said to be one of the most haunted locations in all of Alabama. It was built by a man named Horace King, who is a prominent bridge builder in Alabama, and he built a lot of other locations also. Now, Horace King was a freed slave. After slavery was abolished, uh, he started building bridges, and he started building structures like this, the William Penn Young House. He also built the Dillingham Bridge, which, con which connects Alabama on the Phoenix City side to Columbus, Georgia, site of one of the last Civil War battles ever, and it's said to be haunted also. And he also built and designed the Bryce Insane Asylum, which is in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, which is now abandoned and said to be highly haunted. So I don't know if it's something about this builder or it just so happens that a lot of the stuff that he builds becomes haunted. Now, William Penn Young was in the limestone business and he moved here from Virginia and he began exporting limestone to fortify Confederate sites for the Civil War. Made a lot of money at it, as you can see. Held lavish parties here. This was one of the most luxurious homes in Alabama at the time, until, well, legend has it, that tragedy struck right inside these doors. Well, William Penn Young was a slave owner when it was that time in our history and when it was legal before it was abolished. And it was said that he treated his slaves pretty harshly. Now, once slavery was abolished, some of his slaves stayed on with him. Well, that didn't change the way that he treated them even though they weren't slaves anymore. And it was said that right inside this door, up the spiral staircase, one night, one of his slaves hid in a nook that's built into the side of the wall of the staircase. And as William Penn Young, was either going up the stairs or down the stairs. He was ambushed by this slave, stabbed multiple times while standing on the 13th step, and then beheaded. Yeah, beheaded. Now, the staircase is still there. It is still intact. However, that 13th step was stained red for many, many years and began to rot all the way through. They had to replace that stair in 1957. But here in a little bit, we're gonna go inside and we're gonna see the place where legend has it, this slave murdered William Penn Young and left him headless on this staircase. Well, after William Penn Young was murdered, so the legend says, the property was turned over to the city and it became a Boy Scout camp. And that's where all the campfire stories started happening about what really went down here. And really no one really, really knows. But a year later, uh, William Penn Young's son died and I did some research and I can't figure out why he died a year later because he was significantly younger obviously. William Penn Young and his son are both buried here across the street and through the woods and we're going to take you over to the graves as well. It's pretty spooky back there. We walked back there and checked it out the other day. Um, the park itself is it's a nice park. It's quiet. It's peaceful but they say that at night, this place can get a little rowdy. There have been sightings of silhouettes, faces. There have been reports of pianos playing, a man walking around inside wearing a red hat, noises, lights coming on. The caretaker here has said that he has gone in and turned off lights and then later on looked over and those lights are on. For days at a time, he would every day turn those lights off and every night those lights would turn on. Now, I don't know how recently that has happened, but it definitely has happened. So it's pretty likely that this place is haunted. Now for the rest of the park, it's, it's pretty creepy too. Um, it used to be like a booming, thriving place with like picnic areas, volleyball, a swimming pool, which is now abandoned. Um, we were told that the swimming pool was spring fed and because this area is prone to sinkholes, there was some construction going on. And when they 
went to dig out some ground, it caved in the underground spring, which couldn't feed the pool anymore. And so the place kind of just went to, went to the wayside as far as the amenities. Now the campground is still open and fully functional and quite affordable. So if you get a chance to stay out here, definitely stay out here and come explore the William Penn Young house. Going to the house. Yes. Are you, are you excited? I am. Yeah, I, I don't know what to expect. Yeah. It's gonna be creepy. It's creepy on the outside. I'm sure it's gonna be creepy on the inside. Smartly, we're going during the day. Yeah. But I wouldn't, I don't think I would wanna go in there at night. No, I would not. But I'm excited to go in because of all the history. Yeah. And um, I'm really excited to see the staircase. <laughs> That's the most nervous part for me. Yeah? Yeah. And they say that um, it's it's bad juju to step on that 13th step. So if if he does allow us to go upstairs, uh, we'll I'm going to make sure that I count properly yeah, and do the big, <laughs> large step over the 13th stair because you don't want to be, you don't want to have the bad juju. No, you should sure don't. Yeah. All right, we're headed in. Here we go. Over. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Oh, yeah. See, they, these floors, too, they, what I was told is they were, I think, yellow pine from yeah. this area, and they, yeah. they put, cut the wood and put it in and everything. And the guy that built Oh, my gosh, that just scared the crap out of me. Yes. And this guy. He even, like, built the state capitol, the foundation, and the stairway. I guess there used to be a fireplace here. This this used to be the used to be the guys hang out cigar and drink room, and now they they store stuff in here spooky stuff. <laughs> so it's, it, at night would be really scary because all this stuff. They even got a coffin down here. Wow. Um, but yeah, and then the room that I was just in across the way where Leslie is over there, it was kind of the ladies' music room. So they would have these extravagant parties, and then the guys would come over here, smoke their cigars, drink their whiskey, and then the gals would go across there and listen to music and chit chat. All right, here's the here's the infamous spiral staircase. I'm gonna count these so I don't step on the 13th step, but I'll show you as I go up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is the 13th step right here. And you can see where the wood has been replaced from where that rotted out. They said they changed the stair out in like 1957. And then I was telling the story earlier, but this right up here would be the nook that I was talking about where the slave hid. And then when, uh, when Penn Young came, I don't know if he was coming up or down, but he got ambushed right here in the stab. So we're gonna go ahead and go all the way upstairs. I'm gonna step, I'm gonna step over that stair right there. I'm not gonna step on that one. Step over it? I did. I did step over it. It was a big step for me, though. Yeah, but you can see it pretty well from, from this way. Um, it's a good little place to hide right there. Mm -hmm. And it would be a, a good spot to, to ambush somebody. Yeah. Yeah, some, yeah. This would have been the kids' room. And you can see these. Hey, Leslie, go stand by that little door. Just this. Look how little these doors are. These are like, Leslie would have to duck to get through this thing. Yeah. So, oh, the little bit of bathroom over here. That's creepy. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Wow. There's just a hole in the floor for where the toilet used to be, but it's it's creepy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Leslie just pointed that out. Thank you for that. And then... Um, across the way here, we were just over in the dining hall area. These doors used to be connected by a bridge that went across here, but it's since rotted out and fallen down. So there is no access to get into the top part on the, uh, the dining uh, area side, but uh, it's definitely creepy up here. Now this would be the bedroom of Penn Young and his wife. Before we re it, you can tell the damage that it did. Yeah. Wow. And it's that one, right? Yeah, the yeah. one with the crack. crack. <laughs> you see Leslie stepping over the 13th stair here. What a budget. 
Oh, yeah. Lean on the nook where the murderer Shut was. Your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than stepping on the step. Don't need any bad juju. Oh man, house was creepy. Yes. And um, the the pictures that you see overlaid when we were walking through the house, mm -hmm. uh, he got from the library in the historical society, uh, and those were pictures of what the house would have looked like back when it was still in use. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, it gives you a perspective of what it looked like back then versus what it looks like now. Yeah, yeah. And because it's now a historical landmark, they can't just improve it. They can't just work on it. They got to get yeah. special permission from yeah. historical societies and all that stuff. Even to, to sand the walls down and paint them, you would have to get special permission to do anything to change the structure. Change anything in there. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. And now we're headed out to the graves. The grave of William Penn Young and his son, who died one year later. The other part of the legend is one part of the story, or one side of the story, is that he was murdered there on the 13th step. Yeah. And then the other version is he died of tuberculosis. Very uneventful. <laughs> uh, because there was an article that was published in uh, a newspaper. It was either Montgomery or Birmingham. Yeah. But back then, like, how do you verify? I mean, anybody could have just... He could have been murdered and somebody could have just sent the newspaper and said, hey, William Penn Young died of tuberculosis. <laughs> and who's going to come and verify? It's the very beginning of government cover-ups. Yeah. <laughs> Scandal. <laughs> it started back in the 1850s. Conspiracy theorists. <laughs> so I don't know which version is true, but the one of him getting murdered is way more popular. And that's yeah. the one that keeps getting passed, passed down, down. Yeah. as the legend because there just wasn't very good record keeping back then. So no. we just don't know. Yeah. All right, you ready to go see some graves? Yeah. Well, it's going to be creepy because yeah. it's overcast it, and, and we're it, walking through the woods. It's in the woods. Yeah. yeah. It's only fitting. It's in the woods. All right. Here we go. All right. Well, now we're walking through the creepy woods yes. up the hill, up hill looking for graves. That's a good idea, but at least we're doing it in the daytime. Mm -hmm. I don't think I would come up here at night. No. Look at that's where we just came from, all the way down there, all the way up here, yeah. and up here are the graves, which is is weird because random placement on the side of a hill. Yeah. And well, we just had a big rain yesterday, and you can see where all the water just runs down. But they're kind of entombed in this this right here, so. I guess they can't wash away. I mean, they've been here since the 1800s. They haven't washed away yet, so I don't think they're going to, but uh, it's just weird placement because you can't see through the woods, but the house is probably, a bug. The house is probably, I don't know, 150, 200 yards that way through the woods across the road. And they're just up here. So, he was what, 55? And this kid was 20. Yeah, I don't want to step on his grave, but I'll show you this. 1823 to 1878. And then his son, 1860 to 1880. So, only 20 years old, he had to have some kind of illness. Something going on there. I just wish we knew. I wish we knew more of the story, man. Me too. I hate unfinished stories. Yeah. I have to have it. And where's the wife? Where's the wife? Why would she not be here? No, I'm going to do some digging. All right, let's see if Leslie can dig up some. <laughs> She's good at digging up stuff. <gasps> What's that supposed <laughs> to be? <laughs> and once I'll she... I'll find you skeletons. Yeah, and once she knows, <laughs> she'll never forget. No, no. <laughs> no. Locked in. All right. What are your beliefs? Haunted or just an old house? Well, I'm a believer in that stuff. I, I, I do too. believe people see things. I do too. Now, we haven't seen so, anything here ourselves. No. But you take into account all the stories. I believe it's possible. And, you know, the story's a story. So you have to, I mean, take them at some are probably value. true, some are probably not. You know, people scare themselves so, yeah, at night and in the elaborate dark. on stuff. I believe that it's haunted. Yeah. 
I believe that it is. I feel I believe that these grounds are still haunted, especially when you when you have a death like that, a violent death. Uh, the, it, that's when, well, if you watch these ghost hunters and stuff, I mean, that's yeah. when people tend to stick around and yeah. try to either tell their story or just let it be known that they're still Angry around. Angry spirits or, are avenging. Yeah, but, I don't think. But I don't that, think that's the that's case the vibe here. here. Yeah, no. I just think that spirits are trying to stay relevant current in in today's life they don't want to be forgotten or they feel like it's still theirs yes that they just can't leave this is still their home or you know sometimes in some cases i think maybe they don't even know that they're dead that's true too yeah yes. but being that they've he's personally had experiences the boy scouts have had experiences yeah. here other you know park users have seen things heard things it just seems like that's not made up yeah well leave us a comment let us know what you think and you believe if you believe in that kind of thing at all oh, do you believe yeah. in spirits the afterlife hauntings and from what we've shown you do you think that this place is haunted let us know i think it's haunted <laughs> i know you do <laughs> Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.